Tomorrow, when Joan of Arc burns at the stake, I want you to watch carefully. Not the young woman in the flames, but the men who sentenced her to burn. The English will carry out the sentence, but when nothing but her ashes remains, it is the Grand Duke of the West, our Duke of Burgundy, that will have seized a triumph. For you see, this spectacle is not really about the Maid of Orléans. Her death is only as important as the benefit that it brings us. What burns on that pyre is not Joan the person, but La Pucelle, the symbol of the French resistance. You are young, my son. You have never seen our duchy as anything but a powerful state. But we were not always so mighty. In the greater tale of history, Burgundy is but a newborn power, carved from the lands of the kingdoms and empires that surround us. Our ascent began with John the Fearless, the father of our current duke. Up until then, the Dukes of Burgundy and the Armagnac faction had been equal rivals, fighting for influence at the court of the mad king of France. Louis, the leader of the Armagnac faction, had been using the funds of the French crown for years to stifle John in any way possible. He also boasted of having bedded John's wife. Tiring of these insults and Louis's abuse of royal influence, John decided to end their rivalry for good. Just three years into his reign, he sent 15 men to stab the Armagnac Duke to death on the streets of Paris in broad daylight. It was a true show of force. In one bloody act, John established himself as the most powerful Duke in France. The Armagnac faction, now leaderless, began preparing for a long war. To keep the Burgundians occupied, they supported a revolt in the city of Liège, which was ruled by John's brother-in-law, the Duke of Bavaria. John the Fearless would not let such unrest spoil his plans for the Grand Duchy. And so he marched his armies north, to a small village outside Liège called Bonté. The Armagnacs are inciting the local population to take up arms and rebel. John, let us put an end to this insubordination.
brain that the villagers have stored in this meal will now feed the bird. Gandhi and Art. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. Harm. Event. Bonjour. Ivai. Ishas. Si. Ishas. Si. Ibati. The grain that the villagers have stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Ah, 
Chas. Sí, Chas. Pues dos veces. The grain that the villagers have stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Sire, your nefarious enemies in Paris have renewed the charges against you for freeing France from this insane time. They seem not to take me seriously. I will show them. No more mercy to our enemies. Spare no one. Ibati. Was others? Ibati. 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 Was all ready. Complete. He went. Sì, sì, ma stru. Ciao, il re. E tacci. Cos'ho? E non sei. Sì, il complù. E non sei. Ciao, il re. Sì, ma stru. Bonjour. Si. I chasse.
vosotros? The grain that the villagers have stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Si, i bati. Pa immediatement i bati. Si, i bati, i i bati. Vos ordres? Pa. I mean. Vos ordres? This noxious rebel somehow managed to break into my camp. Come to my aid as quickly as possible, John! Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. Bonjour. Ra. I mean. Vos ordres? Si. I chasse. Si. Bonjour. I bati, 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 i bati. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. Bonjour, i bati. Vos ordres? Ibati immediately. I bati. I bati. I bati. I bati. I bati. I bati. Bonjour. I bati. Vos ordres? I bati. Si. Ra. I bati, i bati, i bati, i bati, i bati, i bati. Bonjour. I bati. Sorry, 
Alberto. Sí. trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the earth. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. Minded rebels in Liège seem to think that our scouts would not discover their secret gunpowder depots. How wrong they are. Destroy the depots so the Liège rebels can no longer make use of their cannons. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. Yeah. 
We have destroyed one of the rebels' gunpowder stores. Fire. Os outros. E bate. Tá. E bate. Bom dia. E bate. Both gunpowder depots are in ruin, sire. Without their cannons, the rebels will be an easier target. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources.
Every coin that we take is one sí. less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this one.
show mercy to such traitors. Drive all rebels out of their hiding places. Hang them all. Wipe out their entire families while you are at it. The Battle of Ote was a decisive victory for John the Fearless. He rode in triumph to Paris, and his armies entered the city without a fight. The Armagnac plot had failed. But since they had not openly waged war on him, John could not yet exact his revenge by force. Instead, John had the 15-year-old son of the deceased Duke brought before him. Still mourning the death of his father, the boy was forced to forgive his father's murderer in public. A cruel act, you say? And that it was. But remember, my son, that cruelty was not John's goal, only a means to an end. By orchestrating this public display, John showed not just the boy, but the entire house of Armagnac on their knees, kissing his feet. It was one insult too many for the proud Armagnacs, and the struggle between the two factions would soon turn into open war. <laughs> 